Academician Wu, thank you for joining us on CGTN. So why is China proposing to build an international lunar research station at the south pole of the moon? The south pole and the north pole of the moon can both work. Why? The moon revolves around the earth, and the earth revolves around the sun. There is always a solar angle. The moon rotates once every 28 days, and it also revolves around the earth once about every 28 days. Its rotation period is the same as its revolution period. Therefore, the site where the sun shines may have strong light, and the temperature can be as high as around 100 degrees Celsius. The site where the sun does not shine may be nearly minus 200 degrees Celsius. This extreme temperature cannot be tolerated by ordinary people and general equipment, but it's not the case at the South Pole and the North Pole of the Moon. According to our scientists' calculations, there may be more than 100 consecutive days of light at the South Pole, and relatively speaking, the temperature there will not reach nearly 200 degrees below zero. Secondly, why South Pole? Scientists and some of our international colleagues believe water molecules can be detected above the South Pole. There may be water in the permanent shadow pits there but exists in the form of ice crystals because it's not exposed to sunlight for a while. Whether there is such water and how much there is are questions that people and scientists all over the world are concerned about. If we can find water molecules and direct evidence of the existence of water ice on the moon, it will be a remarkable thing, which would create conditions for humans to stay on the moon and to set out from the moon to go to deeper space, such as Mars and other planets. Will the robots be used in the construction of ILRS project, and how likely is it that AI will be introduced in assisting the construction? Our U21 and E22 are robots, but they are advanced robots. Our engineers and scientists call them lunar rovers, which is easier to understand. They can climb mountains and cross ridges. They can go to sleep automatically. When the sunlight is insufficient, it will shut down by itself. When the sun rises around 8 o'clock the next morning, it can also wake up automatically. As for artificial intelligence, we're proposing the concept of intelligent navigation, which includes intelligent detection, diagnosis and control. It is tailored for deeper space. Only by intelligent navigation can we change direction, adjust position, troubleshoot and send signals back in time to let the people on Earth understand its flight status. And it would allow us to explore the universe more safely. Yes, it is more economical and safer, lasts longer and transmits more information.